Right, um, this is now question number six for uh, LXL C3, um, the June 2015 paper. Now, we're given these, this weird looking graph here. Um, so, two curves, y equals two uh, to the power of x plus one, take three. Um, and then we've got this other curve, y equals 17, take x. Now, the first question um, asks us to uh, get x in the form, so x equals uh, the ln of 20 take x over the ln of 2 take 1. Now the first thing that was springing to mind of me is, well, we don't have an e there. I mean we have uh, 2 to the power of x plus 1, but surely we use logs for that. I mean, come on, seriously. Um, well, first of all, no, uh, and yes, because we use lns when we've got a base e, but because they're the natural log of x, they're still a logarithm, so we can still use them in the same vein. However, when we do use them, obviously it's going to give us a bit of a different outcome, like it's not going to get rid of a 2, for example. Right, so obviously, without looking at the next question, this is obviously going to be some irritation formula. So this first part is just getting you to build it up, so you can still do part b, um, even if you don't get this bit. Okay, so the first thing I would do is obviously write down your two equations. So y equals 2x to the power of x, sorry, 2 to the power of x plus 1, take 3, um, and y equals 17, take x. Now, the key thing I would do is look, okay, well we need to look at what we're trying to get and what we've currently got. So what we're trying to get is this. It's x equals the ln of 20, take x, over the ln of 2, take 1. Now, the thing that was back at me is we don't have a 20 there. So obviously, we're going to have to make them equal to each other. So if we do that, 2 to the power of x plus 1, take 3, equals 17, take x. Okay, so we need a 20, so 2x plus 1 equals uh, 20, take x. Okay, looking right so far. So ln both sides. Now, got to be careful, we don't get rid of the 2. Now, if you look at the, what we're trying to get, we've got ln, it's divided by 2 and take 1. We've got a power of x plus 1 here. So when we move this plus 1 onto the right-hand side, obviously, we're going to be taking it away. So, I mean, you could always work backwards from this. And I'll show you how we've done it when we've done this. So when you ln this, um, because it's a log and this is a power, the logs in powers, they become in front of it and they times it. So for the ln of 2... To the power of x plus 1, that's the same as ln of 2 times x plus 1, okay? And that's equal to the ln of 20 take x, okay? Now, as x plus 1 is times the ln of 2, we're going to divide by ln 2, because we're trying to get this kind of thing over here, alright? So x plus 1 equals the ln of 20 take x over the ln of 2. Now, it doesn't want x plus 1, it wants x, so all we do is move this plus 1 onto the right hand side, and there we are in required form. Now we just want to show you, if, if you didn't see that, there was a way to work backwards. Okay, so let's start from the end here. So x equals ln of 20 take x over the ln of 2 take 1. So the first thing I would do is add the 1. So x plus 1 equals the ln of 20 take x over the ln of 2. Okay, times both sides by the ln of 2, so x plus 1, e, sorry, x plus 1, times the ln of 2, equals the ln of 20 take x. Now, using your log rules, you should know that's a power. So therefore, the ln of 2 to the power of x plus 1, equals 20 take x. Sorry, the ln of 20 take x. E both sides, it gets rid of the ln, so 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals 20 take x. Okay, and then you can rearrange that to get what you started with. So even if you didn't see this, you could still work backwards logically. Um, but hopefully you would have seen that. The only thing that I think might trip you up is this this little section here where, where you LN'd it and you, you came up with a with a multiple sort of thing. But as I said, you could always work backwards from it. Um, it's quite hard to miss out that stage, you, you did it both ways. Um, but if you just got to there and left it and lost the marks, well, did the most squat and punch, like, 
um, you know, that's the end for you. But anyway, uh, uh, dwelling on that uh, point there. So, okay, so that's just proving it. As I say, hopefully you've got that. We'll do another video on that if you don't get it. So the next little bit sort of turns this into an irritation. So we've got x of the subscript n plus 1 and any x in here we've got to the subscript to n. Okay, so x to the subscript of n plus 1, subscript just means it's a little thing below it, x to the n plus 1 um, equals the ln of 20 take x n over the ln of 2 take 1. This is what this means. Um, I'm assuming you're familiar with this, but I'll just explain it anyway. So you, as again, you get a little bit longer to say you've been revising. Um, so x, the subscript n, just means the previous one, uh, the previous value of x, and the x plus 1, n plus 1, just means the next value of x. Or the next irritation, I should say. Okay, so what are you trying to find? Well, we're told x0 is 3. Now, as I said, um, I've mentioned in previous videos, in AQA, they will say x1 and x0 will start with x0. has absolutely no bearing in terms of how you work it through. Just just trying to confuse you. If, like me, you do both examples. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is just, because this obviously is what n is 0, we're just going to say, okay, x1 equals. Now, I'm just going to tell you what it is, but you can just sub 3 into that and uh, press equals to get an answer. But what I would personally do, to improve your accuracy, is... Um, store 3 in a calculator's memory and you do that by um, clearing the calculator's memory uh, clicking on 3, pressing equals and then it will store the answer as 3 and then rewrite this equation but instead of typing 3 in where you see xn, so it would be ln of 20 take 3 you'd be the ln of 20 take the answer button over 2 take 1 so when you keep pressing equals you keep subbing in the last answer into xn so it's a bit cheap really ok, so what this is asking you to do is uh, to round it to three decimal places. So the first one is 3.8, uh, so, uh, 3.08, um, seven, I think it is, before I tell you, and it'd be completely wrong. I don't doubt it is, but yeah, small, small chance it will be completely correct. Oh, it's 3.07. Good memory. Uh, and then it's 3.8, uh, 3.080, and it's 3.081. Okay, so that's part 3b. Now this part 3c, so I was going on in a previous video, and I was saying an Excel is turning into OCR and AQA. Now, the actual question says, um, using your answer to part b, which is a bit of a hint that we've been doing some variations, um, to deduce the coordinates of point a, giving your answer to one decimal place. So we've not only got, we've got to somehow find this point a. Now point a, by the way, is where the intersect, that's... These are the x coordinates. This is take, what we've done here is rearranged to get x because y equals y. So the y coordinates at this point are the same. We know that. We just want to work out what x is. So this is an irritation for the x formula. Now, irritations, I've done a separate video on how that video, uh, how irritations work. But essentially, we start at a high point and we move closer to it. So your numbers should be getting smaller. The key thing with this is people forget to take the 1. So it should be around 3.01. 3.1. This A, as I said, by the intersect. Um, okay, so we've got to find the quarter point A. Now, we you need to use this information to work out what X is. Now, if you keep pressing equals, all you keep rounding to is 3.1. You might get 3.081234.5 and 3.081236.7, but essentially it would be 3.1 uh, always when you put it in that irritation. Okay? Um, so what you do then is say, okay, well, uh, using the irritation, it always rounds to 3.1, however many times you press X. And then what you would do, because this has to deduce the coordinates, so Y coordinate, so 3.1 into either equation, you should get exactly the same answer. Uh, and you get 13.9 to one decimal place. So 3.1 and 13.9 to one decimal place is the coordinates of A. So it's quite similar to AQA, but not specifically similar. Um, okay, because it still gets find the coordinates. But it's not typical at Excel, uh, where you're 3.1, you know, do 3.095, 3.115, or whatever. Uh, okay, so hope as I said, hopefully that helps. Right, so that's the end of question six. Um, 
nothing too extreme in that question, just a bit of weirdness that I'm starting to relate to at Excel. Uh, sorry, well, not really at Excel, but AQA or whatever. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next question. So as I said before, you know, if you, uh, if you want me to redo that, I'm more than willing to, and if you want the answers, uh, questions, please let me know.